Thank you for your service. Let's ride. Hamilton, Hamilton. sir. Meet me inside. Yeah! Oh oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to CF Reacts. My name is Casper Fox, and today we are back with both Hamilton and M O R T I U S. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. You, you gotta give me warning so <laughs> I can come up with lyrics. We are back showing Casper more Hamilton, uh, and we are here today with Stay Alive Straight Into Me, or Straight Into. 10 Dual Commandments straight into Meet Me Inside. There's a lot of songs in this show. Sometimes it takes me a sec to remember all of them and what order they go in. But we are doing a triple feature here because all of these songs are kind of small and like two and a half of them kind of tell one cohesive story. Definitely two songs two and three tell a pretty just like back to back story. And the first song, the end of it kind of leads into it. So it, it really does make sense for these three to go together. So we are very cool. excited to have you here for this. Uh, you most likely just came from my channel where we checked out Wait For It. If you didn't, what are you doing? It's the best song in Hamilton. So make sure you go check out my channel for Wait For It and then come right on back here for the rest of our reactions or for the next three reactions at least. And then for the next couple of Saturdays, we are going to continue tossing it back and forth where it's going to be my channel, then his channel, then my channel, then his channel, all the way up until August 17th. Why is it changing on August 17th, Casper? Because then Act 2 of Hamilton will be going on Open Arts Reactions, our brand new duo channel, where we will be exploring both Hamilton but also more musicals since I have never finished one in my entire life. And Mordius is dying to show me more. We've been enjoying making content together so much and you guys have been so supportive. So we're actually moving our duo reactions over there when Hamilton Act 1 ends. To a dedicated channel. Yes, it's going to be super, yeah. super exciting. Um, and just means that the things we can create together are going to be so far expanded and and it means that this beautiful face that I love dearly will stop clogging up my Saturday slots. Give me back my <laughs> upload schedule, Casper. <laughs> Oh I'm God. mostly kidding. Uh, I absolutely have loved doing this with you, but also we love doing it so much that it really has just begun to take over both of our channels. So I think yeah. Open Arms Reaction is going to be great because both of us are going to be able to get back to doing some solo stuff. Both of us are going to mm -hmm. be able to get back to focusing a little bit more on our separate things. Me approaching it very much from the sort of musical structural side. Casper approaching his content from that brand manager side, sort of bringing us back to where our specialties lie. And then this amazing collaborative content that we had we and you guys have grown to love will have its own dedicated space so it is going to be better for all three channels moving forward we are so excited give me back my upload schedule <laughs> <laughs> you can have it take it Woo! starting on starting <laughs> on the 17th um so all jokes aside thank you so very much for being here we appreciate you very much do you have anything to say about the next three songs? Any thoughts or theories about these titles? Any mm. Anything you've thought? Because this is the same, by the way, for you YouTube people. This is the same batch of recordings that included, like, Helpless, Satisfied, and Wait For It. So we've gotten a lot mm. of Hamilton today so far. Yeah. And the reason why I'm in different clothes is because I sweat through it. It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 36 degrees Celsius in my room right now. So yeah, there you go. That's why it's different clothes. But yeah, we've been recording for like four hours. Yes, we have. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm, uh, Meet Me Inside, that's the one that catches my ear mm -hmm. the most because I have no idea like what is inside. Why are they meeting inside? What's happening? What's going on? Fair. That's the only, like that's the one that, that, that catches my ear. Fair enough. Say. Well, let's see what yeah. happens as we hop into Stay Alive. Here we go. And just the lingering, I almost should have included that at the end. The fact that he just stands there for a little bit. I know there's mm. piano coming in. That's fair. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be the first time. I've been so good about not doing it, even though you're doing it all the time. But this is going to be the first time where I'm like, that specific intro there, very Athena. <laughs> Yeah. Very Athena. Yeah, because it, it has these, it has these, like, these arpeggios. Mm -hmm. so. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I love, dang, I wish I remembered how long they linger on Burr there, because I feel like that's really mm. poignant at the end of Wait For It. But anyways, <laughs> now we get into... I have never seen the gen 
Oh, he dodged a bullet. Yes. Literally. Missed by a hair. So Missed by an... an ooh. Should I tell... Okay. okay. The, you, honestly, I think it's going to be better for you to just know. And the audience has okay. already been like, is he not telling about? Is he not telling about? Even though we talked about it in the intro of our first video, but no one watches those, so it's okay. Uh-huh. So... That specific ensemble member, you have seen a couple of times before. Yes. Got the very That's tall the, hair, the very live yeah. figure, very sort of distinct appearance. Yes. Her sort of... I Honestly, please let me know in the comments how much of this is fan-like attribution and how much of it is actually like officially confirmed canon. But we know her in the community as The Bullet. And she actually, despite never having a line in this show, serves a important and consistent thematic purpose when she is on screen. So she is literally a bullet. Like I said, I don't know if like that, like, I don't know if they ever put out casting for like, we're casting ensemble and you have been cast as the bullet. Or if that's just a fan name for what she represents. I'm honestly not sure. Please let me know in the comments. But... That is the bullet. And she okay. represents something thematically consistent throughout. And that is the first time we've seen it to like its fullest extent. As Hamilton literally dodges it. Pretty fun. Yeah. 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 I have taken over writing all this correspondence. Congress writes, George attacked the British forces. I should back. We have resorted to eating our horses. Local merchants deny us equipment, assistance. They only take British money. So sing a song of sixpence. The cavalry's not coming. But sir, Alex, listen. There's only one way for us to win this. So we've got this whole, this very intense, oh. like the war is now good, not going good. I love the spotlight up on Eliza as she's reading the letters he's sending home. Like as he, as he's saying, like, I have never seen the general so despondent. He's like talking to the audience, but he's writing to Eliza, updating yeah. her on how terrible the war is going. We have resorted to eating our horses mm-hmm. okay so, so they're they, they so so that the the whoever's in charge is telling me come on win this war it's yes like, we have no fucking yes we have no resources to do this <laughs> oh yeah we have no resources to do this man yeah. we're eating our horses but then something that really caught my attention did he call him alex yes he said alex listen i alex, will s- listen i will say i will say That is one thing that I can see you reading really far into that I don't know if you should because a lot of different characters are called a million things throughout the show purely for Mm. the syllables. Yeah, okay, that's fair. No, it wasn't that I was reading. I just thought it was, like, weird. Like, well, yeah. Because I, I think no one's called him anything but Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Has anyone even called him Alexander? Like, yeah. But Alexander, Alexander I've never been to the time I saw your face. Uh, gotcha. Is the first one I can think of because it was in this recording yeah. batch. But there's been a few other times. But yeah, so like there's like mm. like someone calling her Eliza versus Elizabeth Schuyler is mm. usually not necessary. Like them using a nickname is not automatically indicating familiarity. Okay. It's just the rhyming and syllable scheme. Uh, mm. So I wanted to, as I saw you being like Alex, that's where I'm like, no, it's 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 purely just for the musicality. <laughs> But it's still interesting. Yeah, they just called me like Alex. I gotcha. Provoke outrage. Outright. That's right. Don't engage. Strike by night. Remain relentless till their troops take flight. Make it impossible to justify the cost of the fight. Outrun. Outrun. Outlast. Outlast. Hit them quick. Get out fast. And stay alive until this horror show is past. Gonna fly a lot of flags, half mass. Raise a glass. I go back to you. Damn, dude. Okay, yeah. I'm not. That that was the right hand man motif right mm-hmm. there. Uh, and then raise a glass. Story of tonight. Mm-hmm. If yeah, wow. This okay. whole show is just a pyramid. Every mm-hmm. single song is built on the songs that came before it. It's incredible how it's structured. Mm. Like and then stay, stay alive. Mm-hmm. What do you say? Stay alive till. What do you say? Stay alive till what? Um. 
Oh shoot! I actually this might be the first song that I don't. It's okay. Have all there the was something. There was something like it's like we're go, we're gonna have a lot of flags half mass. Yes. Or some of that. Stay like, alive. Stay alive until this horror show is passed. So basically, he's saying yeah. the only way we can win that he said outrun, outlast, and they're repeating because yeah. they've already been outgunned, outmanned. So now mm. they need to outrun, outlast make it impossible to justify the cost of the fight. Essentially, like, mm. we cannot overpower them, but we can outlast them. If we just fight for long enough, we can bring it to the point where the British will be like, dude, is this even worth it anymore? Like, we're just losing men and losing mm. men. Is it worth continuing to send troops across the ocean to fight? They are now no longer trying to... They're no longer trying to win. They're trying to make, like... Now, they are not trying to win first. They're trying to lose last. <laughs> and they're that is an important alive. difference. They're trying to yeah. stay alive. Okay. Ha-ha. <laughs> Whoa, it's the name okay. of the song. Damn. It's interesting, okay. huh? Wow, that's that's kind of that's kind of grim. Like, oh, that's extremely. Really, like, that's the realities of war. Starves the last, bro. What yeah. The? And that's just, we're going to fly a lot of flags half-mast, right? Like, just acknowledging, mm. like, hey... A lot of men are going to die if we go for this strategy, but it's the only way we can win this. Yeah. And now we kind of get into... New York in my apprenticeship. I ask for French aid. I pray that France has sent a ship. I stay at work with Hamilton. We write essays against slavery. And every day's a test of our camaraderie. And okay, well, 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 pause, pause, pause. Oh, so oh, oh. The, the two others just left him? Um. Did, did Mulligan just say, I'm going back to New York? Morgan said it goes back to his New York and his apprenticeship. Uh, but Lafayette just said, I send for French aid. I pray they sent a ship. So he didn't go back to France. He's just trying to reach out to France for help. So Lafayette didn't leave. Oh. But oh, okay. uh, Mulligan, yeah, Mulligan seems to have gone back to New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, nice, bro. You got Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting for our lives here, but you know what? You have your little apprenticeship, you know? Bruh. Yeah, well, anyways, yes. <laughs> There's more insight that I cannot give yet, but that's yeah, but like, interesting it, it, it's, to remember. It's okay because he doesn't know what will happen. We mm -hmm. know, but he doesn't know what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, he just goes back to your. Yeah, he goes. Yes, yeah, okay. that too. That's kind 100%. of. Like, eh. Fair. Yeah. All right. We steal contraband, we pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand. And every day, sir, entrust me with a command. And every day, no. he dismisses me out of hand. Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee, makes him second in command. I'm a general. Who is? Yeah, he's not the choice I would have gone with. He shits the bed at the battle of Mom. Uh huh. Okay. So Washington Ch promotes someone over him. Go ahead. He, he rhymed Lee with we. Yeah. <laughs> really yeah. got you. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, that yeah. was that. He promotes know, that Charles Lee and gives a different man command because he just refuses to give Hamilton his own command. But, what, like, was. Because George Washington doesn't strike me as a dumb man. Yeah. He obviously like even like the he he promoted him to his right hand man because of the creativity with stealing the cannons back then. Yes. Right? I feel I feel like and again this could be another Poseidon moment and I'm just talking out of my behind, but it seems like to me that George Washington has a reason for not promoting Hamilton to second in command. Uh, I might be overanalyzing this like a lot, but it it seems like to me that he might he might be a little a little hesitant in some way because i don't think i don't think hamilton has shown washington any reason why he shouldn't be able to trust him even yeah. if it's just like can i have a command um and and if he, he's so i see this i see this a lot in like um like i watch a lot of like police related sitcoms and stuff like that mm. right and when when stuff like that happens when a commander doesn't want to give a trusted officer who is really into it that's because they don't want to put them back in the action because there is an underlying reason um I'm going to say something absolutely crazy and you can just laugh at me if it's completely wrong. Okay. But the in the start you had Eliza and then uh what's the sister's name? El Angelica? Uh yes, thank you. We're saying stay alive this really desperate thing. Mm -hmm. Could could she be pregnant and that George Washington doesn't want to put him in the line of fire because she 
No, because how would he know? No, that's stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah. Adam, you can you can just cut this. That was no, really stupid. No, no. Was, no, was, I really I really yeah. like your thought processes. No, I really do think that's really valuable thoughts and insight. That's really good. No, Adam, don't cut it. I'm taking charge of the channel again. Leave it all in. <laughs> it's, no, genuinely though, fully unironically, mm. I think that's really cool insight. Mm. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Anyways. Everyone attack! This not your speed, Hamilton. Ready, sir. Have Lafayette take the lead. Set. Thousand soldiers die in a hundred degree heat as we snatch our stalemates from the jaws of defeat. Charles Lee was left behind without a pot to piss in. He started saying this to anybody who would listen. Real quick, before we get to what Charles Lee would oh. say. I do love, like, even in that moment, did you hear how ready Hamilton was? It's Dude, like, and yeah, it's like Lee, it, step, it was... Lee stepped down. Hamilton, sir, have Lafayette take command. Like even in that moment, he wouldn't put Hamilton even in temporary command. Dude, but, but, and, and then, okay, so they're all on the battlefield. They're all on the battlefield with Lee. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the contradiction, attack, retreat, attack, retreat, attack, mm -hmm. retreat. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, and then like, what, are we on my channel? Yeah. I want to use this term. He's almost like he's blue balling Hamilton into like this co command because like Hamilton, yes, sir. Put him in command. I'm like, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's no. Like, and you sense, can hear like, that yeah. in his delivery. A hundred percent. Yeah, it's great. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices. Indecisive from crisis to crisis. The best thing he could do for the revolution is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon. Don't do a thing. History will prove him wrong. But, sir, we have a war to fight. Let's move along. Damn. Strong words from Lee. Someone ought to hold him to it. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Lawrence? Do not throw away your shot. So, oh my that goodness. is our transition dude. from song one to song two. Okay. Dude, dude, that was... Pff, more people like George Washington. History will prove him wrong. History Let will him. prove what a him badass wrong. badass line. He's so I good, right? Just, dude, just screw I, him. I don't care what he says. I, History will prove him wrong. I kind of want to become American now, just so I can say that. Like, that, 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 that just, <laughs> no, it's not worth it. It's no, don't do it. It's not yeah. worth it. But and then La, Lafayette Alexander, you my closest friend. That's a big sacrifice. And don't take away your shot or don't, like what he said. Like Whoa. that's John Lawrence, not Whoa. Lafayette. But I hear your Sorry. point. It's cool. No, Sorry, you're so fine. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of characters. characters. <laughs> um, yeah, but. And so the like strong words from Lee, someone ought to hold him to it. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Then I'll do and it. the music drops into 10 dual commandments. 10 dual. And, and okay. And with dual, is that like a, like a dual or like multiple dual? Like for example, dual wielding. D-U-E-L, okay. not D-U-A-L. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's, Let's see it ten happen. Dual commandment. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, It's the ten dual commandments. It's the ten dual commandments. Number one, the challenge, demand satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. Number two, if they don't, grab a friend, that's your second. The lieutenant, when there's reckoning to be reckoned. Number three, have your seconds meet face to face. Negotiate a peace. Or negotiate a time and place. This is time and place, especially between recruits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. So, okay. establishing the traditional rules of a duel, it's first, talk, try to negotiate peace. If that doesn't work, grab a friend, send them in. Number three is, they have a talk, they now try to negotiate a peace, and if they don't, they negotiate a time and place. And then the most disputes die and no one shoots. Essentially, they make sure they have so many steps between the anger and the duel that most of the time the hot-headedness can calm down and it doesn't even reach the point of a duel. That's why they have okay, all these so, steps and rules in place. So this is this is an this is an actual like duel, like Wild Wild West style yes, duel. This is a duel. Oh. 
this happened historically? Like this happened? Duels or a duel between these two men? I guess both. Duels between recruits? Absolutely. Okay. A full a full on like established duel between two men? A hundred percent has historical accuracy. Very specifically, John Lawrence and Charles Lee, I don't know. I don't know the details enough. If you're a history buff, let me know in the comments if this duel actually happened as the song claims. But duels very much like this, 100%. Yes. Okay. Inter and, and am I, is this purely practical? Because I feel like that's kind of weird that Aaron Burser is the is like the chosen of what's his name like the, the because he likes to stick to these powerful you know these in power characters like he mm -hmm. tried to become the right hand man of george washington and now he's the what was it uh something like what is what was what is hamilton to um to lawrence here what is that what was that called oh a uh, second your second yeah so your second so he is the general's second i feel like that's mm -hmm. not a coincidence if he's so if he likes to be close to people in power in that sense if that makes sense you know that's fair absolutely i like that okay if they don't reach a peace that's all right time to get some pistols in the doctor on site you pay him in advance you treat him with civility you have him turn around so he can have deniability mm -hmm. Tall before the sun is in the sky Leave a note for your next to kin. Tell them where you've been. Pray that hella heaven lets you in. Uh huh. Confess your sins, ready for the moment to put adrenaline. Win, fight, face your opponent. Number eight, give it a last chance to negotiate. Send in your second, see if they can set the record straight. Alexander. Aaron Burr, sir. Can we agree that duels are dumb and immature? Sure, but your man has to answer for his words, Burr. With his life, we both know that's absurd, sir. Hang on, how many men died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Okay, so we're doing this. <laughs> Dude, I love amazing. The, I love the, can we agree that duels are dumb and immature? Sure, but your man has to sure. answer for his words. Like, that's so interesting. And then just like, mm. how many died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Okay, so we're doing like Burns just in that moment, just like, all right, I'm not talking you out of this. Let's do this. I, I, I feel like when we see uh, a little bit of Lynn kind of shine through here, look how much he's enjoying being on stage as Alexander Hamilton, like just how much Fair. he smiles in life. I feel like that that might not just mm. be the character here, or at least like that, I, I, don't, I got the vibe from him that this is more just than having a good enjoying time being on stage, you know, like, yeah, because he's just smiling. He's He was so happy about this, which, Fair. you know, when the potential outcome is Lawrence dying. Yeah. If it's like a like turn around Buster Scruggs style, you know, that's a really obscure reference. So. I know exactly <laughs> what you're referring to. That's why I okay. laughed. I love the ballad of Buster Scruggs. Ah, <laughs> oh, fly high, sir. Fly high. Shot him in the side, yes he yield. I'm satisfied, we gotta clear the field. Go, we won. Here comes the general. This should be fun. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Bird, get a medic for the general. Yes, sir. Lee, you will never agree with me, but believe me, these young men don't speak for me. Thank you for your service. Let's ride Hamilton. <laughs> sir, meet me inside. Meet him inside. Yeah, oh, oh. I know you're like a second ahead of me. So just so you know, for the people uh, on YouTube, the sync has him just a tiny bit ahead. Like your jaw dropped a s like literally milliseconds before he said meet him inside. So oh, just okay. know for the uh, YouTube people, it yeah. seems like he's reacting slightly early. That's why it's just an issue with how we're synced up watching together. But yeah, that's oh, the context of God. meet me inside. He comes out and I love the Lee, you will never agree with me, but believe me, these men don't speak for me thank mm. you for your service despite lee Damn. trashing his reputation he still apologize like walks out orders him a doctor apologizes to his face bows to him mm. takes off his hat to this man and then turns yeah. to hamilton and says you're on timeout <laughs> i'm like at I have two. Number one is that I don't understand why why he brings Hamilton in. Maybe because he's the right hand man that let this happen. But this is not Hamilton. This is Lawrence. I mean, yes, but, but then, Hamilton's the higher up, and and he specifically told Hamilton not to go down this route, and Hamilton yeah. kind of cheated by letting Lawrence do it. Yeah, I think George Washington had, and I'm reminded this is again really obscure reference to uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, interesting. Uh, Iroh. 
Iroh mm. says in so in 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 um in Avatar: The Last Airbender, Iroh has to defeat the Fire Lord, or they want him the the Avatar and the gang. They want him to if if the Avatar fails in defeating the evil Fire Lord, yes. you have to take him on. And Iroh says, if I kill my brother, it will just be another like history will see it as another brother killing another brother yes. to take like to to take power, which he doesn't want. I feel like it's kind That's of the same analogy. the same. Same same mindset George Washington has. Like, if he wants this revolution to happen or this stuff here, there is like this is why he wants it to be historically great. He doesn't want like a like a smudge on the history saying that he had his general killed or he had his like something like that. Hmm. You know, there's yeah. maybe something with 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 his, with his mindset. There's just at least the vibe like I'm I'm getting as as said. I'm just talking out of my behind most of the time. No, you're so this. fine. That's really <laughs> but cool. I hope you know what I'm like, what I mean. <laughs> I do. That one also has yeah. such a significant transition. We didn't actually pause and talk, but we've actually been on Meet Me Inside for about 20 seconds now, if that wasn't clear oh. by the lyrics. Uh, the song ends with the pistol shot. Uh, seven, gotcha. eight, nine, boom. Or number 10, places fire. <laughs> Sounds like boom. a jingle. That's the end of and it. So how about the one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Like, I love that. Like, we so didn't talk cool. about it while it was happening, but I find that really, really interesting. I love yeah. that sort of motif and, here. Um, yeah, and I, I can't, because I think I caught, obviously, I'm satisfied, mm -hmm. which maybe is, but also here comes the general. I heard yes. the, the ensemble scene that when, when Washington came on. Um and then, yeah, it's all it's all just coming together now. All these motifs that mm -hmm. I was introduced to, and then, um, this like do 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 this like really dissonant kind of violent thing. It's a bit back now, but there was this like, and that's used in a lot of movies to build suspense, not just Hamilton. This like rising string effect, which is really interesting. Uh, I've heard that a lot before. Cool, I like that. Least. Yeah, cool. It's a really good perspective. Any other thoughts on? 10 dual commandments before we continue with meet me inside just making sure no I okay cool covered everything. awesome awesome here we go meet him inside meet him inside meet him meet him inside son don't call me son. this war is hard enough without infighting he called you out we called his you bluff. solve nothing you aggravate our allies to the south absolutely right john should have shot him in the mouth that would have shut him up son i'm not your son watch your tone i am not a maiden in need of defending Tom i am Lee, wrong. thomas conway these men take your name and they rake it through the mud my name's been through a lot i can take well i don't have the oh alternating God. perspective, but just the my name's been through a lot. I can take it. Like he's such a sto he is such ah, he's so cool. <laughs> but you what do you say? You aggravate someone in the south. You aggravate our allies to the south. Huh? What why? Uh maybe just I maybe Lee is from the south. I don't really hundred percent remember, but um like, I think he's just saying that, like, you're causing infighting and are just for some reason our allies in the South wouldn't like that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. but oh, yeah, I got to remember that the U.S. is not a country, so everything is divided into yes. like, colonies and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, and why is he, he's calling him son so much? Yeah, and it's making Hamilton mad, too, which is it's fascinating. It's pissing him mm -hmm. off, yeah. But, but I think he, it's just because he doesn't want to, maybe he just doesn't want to be talked down to, or yeah. it's because of... His dad did. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's probably a reach. All right. You ready? <laughs> yes. Your name. I don't have your titles. I don't have your. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. It jumped for me. All right. We took it back a little bit. Let's keep it going. Uh, we call this bluff. You solve nothing. You aggravate our allies to the south. Absolutely right. John should have shot him in the mouth. That would have shot oh, him. Son. I'm not your son. Watch your tone. I am not a maiden in need of defending. Tom I am Lee, Thomas Conway, these men I have your grown. name and they break it through the mud. My name's been through a lot. I can take Well, I don't have your name. I don't have your titles. I don't have your land. But if you no. if you gave me command of a battalion, a group of men to lead, I could fly up at my station after the war. Or you could die and we need you alive. I'm more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive, son. I need you alive. Call me son one more time. Uh-huh. Go home, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Go home. And so was he officially dismissed of duty right there? We, it seems like it. Your wife needs you alive. Your wife son. needs you alive. Call me son one more time. 
But why is he so pissed about being called son? I think it's just it's just that I think it's like you said, it's that being tucked out. Like he's like, I'm I he so desperately wants to be seen as an equal. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's all that. Yeah. And then that very intense, just like, your wife needs you alive. I need you alive. Call me son one more time. It's so powerful. I'm actually mm. going to do something slightly controversial because I think it will add to this reaction. Okay? Okay. Because because we take so long between recordings, this is kind of an awkward place to stop. We will, mm -hmm. next time we get together, still start from the beginning of this song. But for the people who don't just click off as soon as the song ends, you're going to be rewarded because we're going to check out like 20 seconds of the next song. Because oh, I think okay. it's going to be a better place to end for you to just be thinking about some things. And also okay. because of something that happened earlier in this. Are you ready? Oh, gotcha. Yes. All right. Oh, he looks so sad. How did you do that? Casper, how did you do that? <laughs> like, actually, how you were there trying to get your editor to cut that out because you thought it was such a, st like, stupid guess. You 100% profits, but that might be the greatest profit Casper moment that we have ever ever had on either channel that might outdo anything from epic that might you like this man literally was li like alexander was like oh man i sure wish i still had a command and casper was like your wife's pregnant how did you like <laughs> what <laughs> like how actually how did you do that <laughs> I thought it was just a, it was such a reach, bro. No, I was just talking. you were 100% accurate. That yes, literally, yes. And you know what? I feel like this is going to be potentially so damaging to the reactions, but I don't even care. I am vibing so much with you. Like just one single more line, because listen. That's how he knew. That you literally said, you literally said how would he know? No, that's stupid. She wrote to the general a month ago about it. But no, okay. that's so bad. That's He's going to hate her. Oh no. That's actually where we are going to stop today. We will save the rest of this song for our next recording batch, but I I couldn't sit on that. You Prophet Casper is so hard. So Thank you guys so much for being here and witnessing truly the most incredible of Prophet Casper moments. As literally, it's just like, but sir, if you give me a command, no, he dismisses me out of hand. Like, literally, he just said, I want a command. George Washington says no. And you're like, baby. Like, I don't, I not, don't. Not just, it was not just that. It was also because of how, like, like, stay alive from the, from the, from her. Like, just straight You're right, back. actually. There yeah. was another piece so you was, brought to the connection. It was You're more like right. a train of thought. It was, it was not just like, okay, You were well, completely baby. correct, thought, though. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> so. Damn. This is your channel, so I don't know why I'm trying to yes. get the outro. Go okay, ahead. So that was crazy. <laughs> well, um, I'm not beating the profit allegations anytime soon. No, you're That's not. So that was stupid. wild. Just, that was so lucky. That was, that was incredible. So lucky. That was Truly so lucky. the most okay, incredible anyway, profit Casper moment. Speaking of incredible people, right here we have a ton of people who have been uh, helping me on my dream to become a full-time content creator. Genuinely, if you are enjoying these reaction analysis, both that you hear on my channel, on Morty's channel, or on the new duo channel, Open Arms Reactions, mm -hmm. which is now active, so go subscribe to that and uh, check us out on Patreon. Uh, as I said, these uh, people down here uh, have been uh, helping a lot, so if you have an extra $5 a month, don't know where to spend it, we would be a good, you know, good cause to do that. If you're enjoying our content, it genuinely does help us in both creating content, but also sustaining our channel so we can uh, provide more content for you guys. So if, you're if you're American, it, that's like sacrificing a single coffee a month. You can do it. I believe in you. Support him. Let him be full time. He deserves it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make you a coffee if you ever come by. I'm not telling you where I live, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Now I have to make coffee for so many people. If you find, if you find me. <laughs> Anyway. So thank you for going through this journey with me. Uh, this is an incredible batch of songs. And you know what's crazy? 
by the way. What's crazy? I was looking at the thing. The next time we record, we finish act one. Oh my god, and then we're There are only to four videos left. So, since we always record four videos at a time, for, like, in the real world, for patrons, or, like, just so you guys know from a meta standpoint, we are going to have, like, a good probably two or three weeks before the next time we record. But next time we record together, we are going to do the rest of Act 1, and then we'll be ready to start recording for Open Arms Reaction. So thank you all so much for being here. We appreciate you so much. And goodbye, everybody. Bye, Farewell. guys. Thanks for watching.